Hi there, this is Patrick Hryshko. I'm working as a tech specialist at the Forest Research Institute of Sweden here in Uppsala, called Skogforsk. I'm working in a small IT department, and we are dealing with all kinds of systems, and uh, we need to know a lot about everything in order to uh, serve our employees in our company in a good way. Therefore, we very often use different kind of support departments, calling to them and also having agreements in order to get help when we have a problem. No one reported a bug like this. Can't be a bug. Our system works perfect. I mean, if so many people are using the system. There must be something in your environment that is causing this problem. In our lab, everything works fine. No, I never heard about this problem. You are the only one in the whole world. We installed in my company uh, the Aruba network in the late 2013. Uh, in general, it has been working quite well. We have particularly three problems with the uh, Aruba network. First of all, we are using Microsoft and Link, and uh, uh, more and more uh, people is using Link, wireless networking, conference rooms, and etc. So. Soon we discovered a problem uh, with the AP225 that we installed, that is very good of course because it has the AC standard, but uh, the thing was that when the clients were using the 2.4 GHz and made a link call, there was constantly an error or an issue with the sound quality. Hello, hello, can you hear me? Hear me? Hello. The sound quality problem was an issue that was characteristic in this way. There was always a problem with the sound when you want to hear someone on the link end. But the person that you were talking with always heard you quite, always heard you very well when the client was on this 2.4 gigahertz connected to the AP225. Then we called the the. the uh, support desk and we were f focusing and discussing regarding these problems and there was uh, like arguments that oh we never heard about this no one had any problem like this and um, uh, well it must be a problem in your area interference from our neighbors and so on but we do have a branch office uh, which is far away out in the forest, far away from everywhere. And in this place, there is definitely not big interference from other, uh, um, uh, from other access points or, or so on. Uh, even Aruba said that on those access points there is no interference. But still, the technician in the Aruba said, "Oh, this is your, this is this is not a problem for us. This must be something interference problems. You have to go and and do a check of your." environment and so on and and uh, it, it was never any problems like this and we spent hours on the phone trying to do different kind of things putting different kind of qualities qualities of service uh, into this and uh, so on but the strange thing is that we on this branch office we also have an AP 175 an outdoor access point to cover a large area uh, and when accessing this access point using this link call, the issue disappeared. And then you, on the same link call, went inside to the AP255, suddenly the link quality dropped again on the downlink. Okay, so later on uh, what happens is that the version 6.4.0.3 releases and we des I decided to upgrade our our controller, which by the way is a 3200. Uh, and then uh, I upgrade the controller and suddenly uh, the problem disappears. The sound issue problem disappears on the 2.4 gigahertz. Can you imagine? No, the tech support said no one heard about this problem ever. You are the only one having this problem. This must be some local problem. And the upgrade fixed the problem. So no one heard about it, but the upgrade fixed it. Isn't it amazing? How could it be like this? But this uh, upgrade, by the way, 
made some other problems. And here, this ROP 155, uh, we didn't put it into uh, uh, production yet, it was just on the uh, testing board. Uh, and the reason why it has been on the testing board is because it hasn't worked very well. But during testing we were uh, using the uplink on the uh, cable here, with a normal cable for the uplink, putting it somewhere on the internet and it was like working very well and it was broadcasting all the network and SSID and so on. But then when we upgrade, what is happening? The ROP stops working! Totally stops working! It uh, comes into AM mood, shows the controller. And the bloody lamps here, they blink and blink and blink and blink. What is going on? What is happening? Annoying error message. E. E, which indicates that this is another uh, country code inside the ROP comparing to what's in the controller. But it is not, it's not, for 100% sure, it's not absolutely the same one here as in the controller. But still the controller, AM mood. Call the tech support again. And what is happening? I never heard about this problem. You're the only one in the whole world having this problem. Okay, so what's happening? I'm trying to uh, solve this problem by throwing out all the configuration and then set up all the configuration again for the wrap. And it works! So. I have a system that is working, I'm upgrading it, it's, it stops working, and then I have to throw out all the configuration and set it up again, and it works. Oh, that after some digging it looks like there is some kind of um, uh, change in the whitelist mechanism for the wrap that made this uh, situation happening. Uh, but um, I can't say more about this. But I, now I want to connect this wrap uh, using the 4G Huawei LTE USB E3276 uh, USB modem to connect to this uh, wrap as an uplink. I call the tech support, I get all the information how to configure this one with this one and what is happening? Nothing works. And the tech support says, guess what? You're the only one in the world having this problem. <laughs>